This is a thousand hertz on our laser frequency and we're running on some stainless steel. Now we're at 100 hertz on our laser frequency and running on the same stainless steel. What? Oh, there's 10,000 hertz. Oh, yeah. On that last weld, we bumped it up to 10,000. Now we just bumped it up to 50,000, and we're still running on that stainless steel. Now we're gonna go ahead and change our wobble frequency. We brought our laser frequency back down to 1000 and we turned our wobble frequency up to 200 Hertz. And you can see here, because the laser is moving so fast, it's not able to generate enough heat to fully fuse that material. Now we turned our wobble frequency back down to the standard, which is 100 hertz. You can see there, it gave the laser some more time to fuse it in and we have a lot better fusion. Now we turn our, laser, or our wobble frequency down to 50 hertz and we'll show you what that looks like. You can see there, it gave the laser even more time and now we have complete fusion with a nice concave bead. Now we turn down our wobble frequency to 10 hertz and you'll really notice on this one, the laser is moving very slow and it's gonna put a lot of heat into our material. Okay, so now we're gonna cut and then we're gonna etch our material. First cut we're gonna make is on our 50,000 and our uh, 10,000 laser frequency material here. The most important part about the cut and etch is your material preparation. We're gonna be hitting this with an 80 grit flap disc followed up by wet sanding it with 120 grit sandpaper.
start. You just put some music over it. So. As you can see outlined in red, the difference in penetration on the right side, that is our laser frequency at 50,000 hertz, and on the left side, that is our laser frequency at 10,000 hertz. 10,000 hertz did provide superior penetration into the base material. As you can see on the left side, that was with 1,000 hertz frequency, and on the right side, that was with 100 hertz frequency. With that lower frequency, you can see we are getting a little bit more penetration out of the laser compared to 1,000, 10,000, or even 50,000 hertz. So on the left side of this workpiece, we were at 50 hertz wobble frequency. On the right side, we were at 10 hertz wobble frequency. You can tell a difference in the penetration of the weld, not only with consistency, but when we were running at 10 hertz wobble frequency, our travel speed was too fast for the laser which is why you can see that frequency showing in the penetration of the cut notch. So on the left side of this workpiece, we were at 200 hertz for our wobble frequency. The right side was the standard 100 hertz. As you can see with 200 hertz, the laser is moving too fast side to side to gain that adequate penetration. At 100 hertz, we're getting that good side to side motion, but not the depth of penetration we're looking for. So I would baseline yourself at about 75 to 80 hertz on your wobble frequency. Guys, today's video was kind of to elaborate on our previous video. We talked a lot about things like laser frequency and wobble frequency. And we wanted to give you guys a visual of what that's gonna look like on a cut and etch and kind of see the, the penetration itself. So kind of a general consensus today is the lower your wobble frequency and the lower your laser frequency, the more heat and the more penetration you're gonna put into your part. The higher those numbers are, the less heat and the less penetration you're gonna have in your part. In a real world scenario, that's gonna look like if you're going for a thicker material or you just need full penetration, you're gonna decrease those numbers. If you're running really thin material like 22 gauge, 20 gauge, 24 gauge, then you're gonna to wanna to increase those numbers to try to help that burn through and help any warping, things like that. Once again, you guys can go check out our stuff on our YouTube channel or at our website, www.denaliweld.com. And we have all of our info, all of our machines, everything like that there. Hope to see you guys soon and hope you enjoyed the video.